All right, guys, today is the big day. Today is the big day. You want to know why today is the big day? Because Mama Rihanna, Mama Rihanna blessed us with a makeup line, with her own makeup line. If you're interested in watching my review for this makeup line, for Mama Rihanna's makeup line, Fenty Beauty, stay tuned. I can't tell y'all how excited I am that I finally got this. Well, finally, they just came out, but I'm very excited that I got this. So, here I have the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation Pro Filter. I didn't mean to rip the box. I wanted to keep the box from in Mobilia, but ain't no box. And I got it in the, look how pretty this is. Look how simplistic and sleek and it has the fogged glass and this color looks like this you know what this color did look darker in Sephora so whenever they color match me with their little machine I thought it was gonna be too dark but this is it and you get 1.08 you get 1.08 ounces in it which is a little bit more than regular foundation give you you usually get one ounce super geeked about this y'all I don't think you even know how to I don't even think you know I don't even think you know but it's medium to full coverage for all it's long wear light as air we'll see about that whenever I was color matched with it in Sephora I should get the primer and just prime my face um and take my glasses off so when I put it, let's not scratch them, when it, in the store, in Sephora, Sephora, um, it felt like it was going to be a thicker foundation because it was kind of giving me Kat Von D locket vibes. And mind you, I love my locket foundation, but it's so thick, I haven't been wearing it. Because don't nobody want to wear a thick foundation in the summertime. It's just, I really don't even wear makeup in the summertime. Or I haven't worn it this summer that often. Unless I'm like going out. My foundation brush. This is a little stippling foundation brush I got from the beauty supply ages ago. And I just never bought a new one. I mean I have several foundation brushes. But I just never moved on from this one. Because it applies it so well. So I already have my eyebrows on. I have my eyebrows on today. I had no makeup on today and I intended on going into Sephora to just buy a new foundation and maybe a primer, which I got distracted when I saw Homegirl came out with her collection today. And I said, F the primer, we just gonna get Fenty'd out, okay? So, gonna use the Fenty. Ooh, okay. There we go. Ooh. You better be, ooh, a bit runny. It's not, that's, 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 that's a little, that's a little, that's a little warm. Okay, we're just going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it, and we're going to keep rolling until we can't roll with it anymore. Because... If this comes out too warm, y'all, it's looking like it's going to be too warm. Now, I ain't been tanned in a minute. I know, I, I don't think you can see on camera how warm it is, but it's pretty damn warm. Okay, you know what? We're just going to... I have a good amount of breakout. I've tried this new mask on my skin, and I think my skin's allergic to the mask. So, we ain't going... We ain't gonna use that mask no more. Yeah, my skin is not happy. What's going on? Mm-mm. 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 I was totally wrong about it. It seemed like it is, um... See, all these breakouts from that freaking mask! I digress. It's looking like it is pretty, it's very lightweight. It reminds me of 
I don't think they should put any more on. Medium coverage for sure. Sorry, I was laying on my hair. Medium coverage for sure. Um, you know, I think it's because my skin is breaking out that I'm not as happy with the result but that's my skin's fault not the foundation i think it's your favorite foundation actually it's very lightweight and it actually did blend out to match my skin better than i anticipated so maybe the color is my color you know i am wrong sometimes i don't tell people that but i am wrong sometimes okay, after the foundation i got the matching stick trio it's conceal contour and highlight sticks this was only $54, y'all. I know what you're saying. You spent $54 on that little box? No. I spent $54 on three different products, which is a deal. Because normally in Sephora, you can find concealers between like $24 and $30 something dollars for one concealer. So I got a concealer, I got a contour stick, and I got a cream highlight for $54. That's a deal. Rihanna is looking out for us, y'all, because I damn sure wasn't going to buy that Kim Kardashian release. So that's the amount of product that you get. This is the concealer, and that's the amount of product that you get. So it's 0.25 ounces. Let me look at my, my NARS Creamy Radiant that I'm almost actually out of. 0.22 ounces, and I think this is like $28 or $26. I'll put it in here if I I'll, I'll look it up and see how much it is because I honestly can't remember my Tarte concealer this is 0.28 ounces and we'll see how much that one cost this is 0 0.25 0 0.22 the less the least amount 0.25 in the Rihanna and then 0.28 in the Tarte Maracuja and then in the Naked Skin you get 0.16 is this full size? I hope it's not full size. Because that's full size. I wasted my money. Now the way that the boxes are set up, at least how they explained to me in the store, is that they match you with the concealer. And whatever concealer they match you with, it's going to come with an immediate match for a contour that links to that concealer that's supposed to match your skin the best. And then it also comes with a highlight shade that's going to match match or mesh with your skin color the best. So you can't mix and match, unfortunately. But... That turned me off when they told me that I couldn't mix and match my concealer, contour stick, and my highlighter stick. But this is a bomb match. This is a match that I probably would have come up with. Okay, so now... It has a little bit of tackiness to it, but it's not excessive. Like, I feel... I feel... I feel... I feel solid. And I don't have any... Okay. Now I would have liked for this to be. I might be bright enough. Okay. I like the convenience of being able to use this as a stick. And how much have I used? Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm going to use is under my eyeballs. I don't really want to put any more on my face because my skin is not happy with me. I'll show y'all how. Look at this. That's the contour stick. This is the concealer stick I just used. It's, the, it, it, it's magnetic. You will not lose. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so you can't be extra with it like I just was. After that... Since I have the concealer under my eyes, this is the contour and it's in the color truffle and the concealer was in caramel. Ooh, I'm nervous. Ooh, I don't know why I was nervous. Ooh, okay. All right. You know, it's creamy, but it's not ridiculously creamy. Ow! Like it has a, it's a little puff. But let me do something else. 
go ahead and do her now. Okay. And this is just a Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. It's a little small for me to do my foundation with. It's, I like a bigger one to get it all done at the same time. So I'll use it for my concealer. And I'm just going to blend it out. Blend it out. Okay, bright. And now we're going to blend in the contour. And I'm just blending it with this Beauty Basics contour brush. You know what happens, and it happens quite often to me. I'll be like, dang, my skin has been good for so long. My skin has been doing so well. You know what, me and my skin are getting along just fine. She's acting right, she's taking good makeup, she's glowing, the oil has died down. As soon as I start gloating about how good my skin has been acting, it starts to act up. Blend. Blend, 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 blend. So it's looking pretty daggone seamless and everything is drying down so well. So well. I'll set that with my Laura Mercier. Loose translucent setting powder. She does have, she doesn't have a, I didn't see a loose powder. If she has a loose powder, then won't let me know. But I did see that she has a mattifying powder. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan about the concealer, y'all. The concealer is just creasing on me already. Sets well, though. Sets really well. I wasn't supposed to set it yet. So the cream highlighter that I have, I wasn't supposed to set that yet. I'm very anxious about my concealer. And I'm touching my face and nothing is coming off, y'all. This is... The highlighting stick is in the color rum. It's like a pretty bronzy flick of heaven that I just flicked my fingernail into, but... Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, let me stop. Oh, and it slides right off. <gasps> okay, so it's still, this is, this is how you know. This is about to be one of my favorite things on the planet Earth. This highlighter, y'all. I just put translucent powder on my face. This highlighter is still blending out, and all I'm using is my ring finger. Look at that. Look. Look at this cheek. Oh, it's okay, cheek. But you got a sister cheek over here that is glowing. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just like to thank Rihanna. Robin Robin Rihanna Fenty for this. I'd like to dedicate my glow today to Robin Rihanna Fenty. Oh, these are great. And keep glowing until we don't gotta glow no more. Okay, that's enough glowing because I don't want to waste it. I was concerned about the concealer and the down. Oh, I've been looking for this ankle bracelet for days. I just want to do this all day. I don't have a wig on today, so this is all I want to do. Oh, wait. Bitch, wait. Wait, wait, I haven't even 
I haven't even shown you one of the best parts. It's the Fenty Beauty Balm Gloss Universal Lip Luminizer. Gloss Balm, y'all. Gloss Balm. Gloss Balm. Gloss Balm. I'm going to take the Rum Highlight. And I'm going to put it on my lip. And I'm going to take this Heaven Scent Gloss Balm. The Gloss Balm is in Fenty Glow. I think this is this is the only color that I saw on my local Sephora for the Gloss Balms. But it's the Universal Gloss Balm. So, I mean, it smells... It smells like... I don't know, it smells like something sweet from my childhood. Like it smells like a sugar cookie dipped in candy. Look at that glow. It's super simple. Because all I have on, all I have on, I mean I just have on a full face. But it's super simple. It's just every day. Hey y'all, I totally forgot about the pillows on my bed. But drop in the comments and let me know what places you guys like to stop in to get cute bed sets and accent pillows. I'm currently looking to change around my room. Let me hear some of your ideas. But back to the video. Every day we live, yeah. Every day we live, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching that quick, quick review.